Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crack a lack of jacket smacking this wild man for video and another slasher update again already in one week, man. So, we're gonna upgrade this post rasher batch from bronze to silver and then from silver to gold and then from gold to hall of fame. Can you believe it? As soon as I purchase the gold posterizer, I get the hall of fame posterizer. I mean, wow, thanks for doing the work for me, 2K. I mean, thank you very much, mate. But, anyways, man. Real quick, we're gonna go through my slasher animations. It's about the same thing as the freaking shot creator. Release 74, the free throw is 30. Uh, dribble pull-ups is normal 13. Only difference is the layups and the dunks. I got Vince Carter as my number one dunk package. And then shout out to DeMar DeRozan. Show that man some love. Under Uber Athletic finishes. And then you got the Uber Athletic Tomahawks as my fifth dunk. And the layups is Michael Jordan. And I got all the alley-oop dunks, all the contact dunks. Yeah, we already know this stuff. But the main thing, man, the update, man. So last video, I didn't really have any of the, ba of the badges. Uh, but this video, I got Relentless Finisher, Gold, Posterizer, all the way to Gold, uh, Teardropper, and One Man Fast Break. So we're only missing Acrobat. Now looking at the 95 after I got all my final upgrades, 83 shot close, 81 shot mid. You know, I can hit it if I'm open. That's not even a shot mid standing still. That's just off dribble. So I can hit it if I'm open. Standing layup 94, driving layup 94, relentless finisher, that should be crazy. Driving dunk is a 90, contact dunk 88, standing dunk 71. Contested shot mid-range 76 is alright. You know, on the park, if you plus 5, you get an 81, but in pour, it's going to be alright. You know what I'm saying? Nothing special. Three-point shooting, I just left it out. You know, why have a three-point shot if I'm still not going to have a three-point shot? You know what I'm saying? It's like you're turning in a piece of paper with a 50 grade. And when the maximum score can still be a 60 because you turn it in so late. So what's the point of even turning it in, right? Uh, so my agility speed is a 93 at 6.4. 88 acceleration, 92 vertical. Now I raised the strength. And the reason I raised the strength is because, you know, I'm a slasher. I'm driving to the rim. I'm going to get layups. I'm going to get dunks. And it makes sense in 2K is more realistic this year that if you have more strength, it's going to help you finish it more at the rim. I mean, it makes sense. Look at players like Carmelo Anthony. Look at players like DeMar DeRozan finishing at the rim. They're strong. They're getting rebounds. They're getting putbacks and stuff like that. Stronger players tend to do better in the rim. Look at Dwight. Even though he can't shoot outside the arc. But, you know, inside, he's a beast. Look at the rebounding. I upgraded the rebounding a little bit. And with the added vertical, I'm going to be getting a lot of rebounds as well. As for a guard. Playmaking is not bad either. 82 ball control, 77 speed with the ball, and defense. Now, the defense, of course, is average, but think about this, right? You have more strength and more athleticism, so your defense is going to be better than other positions like the playmaker, like the shot creator, and like the sharpshooter. So, honestly, Slasher is the best defender after Lockdown Defenders, and of course, it's my opinion, but it's pretty much bad. I mean, you have better strength and you have better agility, so. Why wouldn't you also have help in your defensive abilities? So yeah, man, that's basically it. But listen, man, strength is going to be important. Because 63 strength, man, if you think about that, I'm pretty sure my shot creator has a 29 strength. So going up against sharpshooters and, and playmakers and, you know, shot creators with this slasher is going to be insane with that strength, man. Uh, but look at the hotspots, man. Hotspots on every single part of the court, which is going to mean a lot. Especially inside the paint, especially outside the paint if I'm trying to take shot creating shots even though I don't have the difficult shots badge. But look at the badges I got, man. Microwave, Hall of Fame, One Man Fast Break, Hall of Fame, Posterizer, and last but not least, Hall of Fame, Relentless Finisher, which is huge. Teardrop, I'm going to be actually start doing a lot more floaters again. I stopped doing floaters for a long time for some reason, and I don't even see if people do a lot of floaters anymore. But yeah, man, that's the update, man. Video is out tomorrow and Tuesday on, uh, you know, just showing some slasher gameplay. And, yo, this slasher is a beast, man. I got to apologize to the slasher community because you guys were right, man. This is a beast-ass build. But anyways, I'm out for now. Leave a like and peace.